Hello everybody! It is August 13th, 2019, and I got out and did some in-person graphing today. Everett Aqua Sox hosted the Hillsboro Hops. The Hops are an Arizona Diamondbacks affiliate, and I had a great day, a lot of successes, 34 total in-person autographs. We're going to do a little showcase here. Uh, probably the last game I'll go to this year. Um, season's kind of winding down. And I got a short vacation coming up, and then uh, I'm a teacher, so it'll be time to get, get back to work pretty soon. So with that, let's get to it. Um, on I was supposed to go on Sunday because they were giving out the team set, and I got halfway there and traffic was so bad that I figured by the time I got all the way there that they'd be out of sets and all the players would be on the field. And I knew I was only going to be able to stay till like the third inning on Sunday. So I turned around. Luckily, a, a buddy of mine grabbed me an extra team set and gave it to me. So I was able to work on some team set cards. Uh, one sort of unfortunate thing here, I'll show you on this George Kirby. Um, they're a little glossier this year than normal. And you'll see right there, like on the Y on Kirby, that's called bubbling. So that happens when cards are super glossy. So a lot of people that TTM are in person will, uh, there's a couple tricks to uh, help eradicate that. And you can rub like baby powder on, on the card, a little bit of baby powder, or there's like an eraser. And I was actually worn, but still didn't do any prep and sort of paid the price on these first two on the George Kirby. And we're going to use a box as a stand. And Caesar is tourist. This one's not nearly as bad, but you can see a little bubbling there where he underlined his name, I guess, with a, with a C. Um, so what I noticed was my buddy was using just a regular Sharpie. And I had these first two done with a Stedler, which is sort of the one of the more preferred pens for in-person graphing or even TTMing for that matter. And he was just using a standard Sharpie, which I always keep, I was keeping as a backup. And he was not getting any bubbling at all, and he hadn't done any prep. So I switched for the last um, few team team cards I did get done. I switched pens, and they turned out much better. But anyway, so with the Stetler and a little bit of bubbling, I got the, the George Kirby back here. Uh, Cesar is Turris Jr., the son of Cesar is Turris Sr., and the nephew of Macier is Turris, both major leaguers. I'm not going to have room to stand everything up, but anyway, here we go. We're going to go through the rest of the home team cards. So Patrick Frick, who was an all-star for the Northwest League this year. Trent Tinglestad, he was also an all-star, I believe. And he had a walk-off two-run home run in the bottom of the ninth today. That was pretty cool. Miguel Perez, outfielder. Cade Marlowe. And Utah Jones, where the set hits. The next few are my favorite. You guys have heard me talk many times about Alvin Davis and sort of what he meant to me. He was, he was my first uh, baseball idol, if you will. And really, really the first player that sort of caused a stir in Seattle that, that people were talking about nationally and won the Rookie of the Year in 1984. He was there as a, uh, he's a roving instructor for the Mariners. And he's only been in town, uh, this is the first time this year. Typically we'll see him two or three times, but uh, he went four for four to me. There's the 84 tops traded. There's the 84 Fleer update. Tough set. Mother's Cookie Stadium giveaway. I don't know if this is one that I got personally as the SGA way back in 1985. Probably not. I probably purchased it as a single. But um, 85 Mother's Cookies. These are really cool cards. Um, Mariners did these. Padres did these. A's did these. Maybe another another couple teams, but um, really nice photography for especially when you consider when when the when they were manufactured. 
and an 85 tops. Doesn't get more classic than that. Hitting coach for Seattle, Joe Thurston, three for three. One, two, and three. He got ejected, apparently, in last night's game, and I didn't look into this, but I heard people talking about it. Um, apparently, an umpire bumped somebody, and Thurston went out and um, got into it with the umpire, of course, and and got tossed. But So that's it for Aqua Sox and Aqua Sox coaches and instructors and whatever. So the rest of these are Diamondbacks, the Hillsborough Hops, and this first one is someone that uh, is first round draft pick for Arizona, and went to a Seattle area high school, so he had lots of family there cheering him on. Corbin Carroll, these are customs. The four for four on him. One, two, they're all the same. Three, four, and we'll stand one of these up back here. Oh, I got another box here. I want to get some stands eventually, but we'll put we'll put that one there since he was a first round draft pick. He'll still fit in the frame here. So, and he's number three on uh, MLBPipeline.com for Diamondbacks. So this next guy, three for three, he's number sixteen on MLBPipeline.com Diamondbacks. Dre Jameson, real nice. Two and three. And I always like it when players uh, compliment my card design or whatever, because a lot of these guys you know, don't have any any cards. This next player is 18 on MLBPipeline.com. He just got moved to the Hillsborough Hops from Missoula Osprey, and he's only played like four or five games. And same with uh, Corbin Carroll. Anyway, Leover Peguero. I don't know if I'm saying his first name correctly. There's enough Pagueros around. I'm sure I got his last name right. Four for four on him. And like I said, he was number 18 on MLBPipeline.com. The Diamondbacks always have a lot of uh, higher ranked prospects when they come to town, which I appreciate. Uh, some teams you won't even you won't even find a guy that's in the top top 25 or whatever and. I'm just finding I'm not even really going to those games. But Tommy Henry, he's number 22 on MLB Pipeline, Arizona Diamondbacks. And I had three of these, I believe. One, two, three. Tristan English, not on MLBPipeline.com. Do I need to say that every time? I don't. Anyway, he's not ranked. But he was a third-round draft pick this year. I figured it was worth... Printing out a couple cards to him, three of those, and he really liked that card too. Um, so I had to wait until you know I'm going to save the other one for last. Franklin Stubbs, many of you have these junk era cards laying around. He's the manager for um, for Hillsboro, and he very quickly signed two of three for me. Um, don't know if he was in a not great mood or if that's just how he always is, but <laughs> I'm grateful to get two or three. And I waited, had to wait until post game to get Barry Enright, and I brought four cards. And he only had time to do one of them. And thankfully, he landed on the one that I really wanted the worst. So here we have these are 2011 tops, correct? Yes, 2011 tops. We all know it's the same design as a Trout rookie. And I had a couple of these base here, three of these. And luckily he skipped those and he hit the cognac uh, parallel. And I just think that looks really sharp. So that's going to go back here in this. Oh, not even on frame. We're going to cover up the carol. Anyway, that's it. Probably for my season, like I said, for in-person graphing. I uh, still have a lot of TTMs going to come in and help, help fill up the rest of the summer. But... Anyway, that's it for now. Questions, comments, comment below. Like, subscribe, share the video, whatever you got to do. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Later.